Hello everyone, I'm Miss Harris and I'm Head of Health and Social Care here at Francis Bardsley. So our vision for health and social care is to establish a successful department, not only where students are proud of their achievements, but also one in which they feel supported in their studies. So some of you may be wondering, what is health and social care? So health and social care is a discipline that combines the study of sociology, biology, nutrition, policy and ethics. At FBA, we have two courses that are available for health and social care. The first is the extended certificate, and this is the equivalent of one A-level. The next is the extended diploma, and this is the equivalent of three A-levels. So if you opt for the extended certificate, you will study this alongside two other A-level subjects. However, if you opt for the extended diploma, this will be your only course um, of study. So within the curriculum, you will study a range of topics. Both courses will cover the following topics in year 12. Unit one, which is human lifespan development. And this is an externally assessed unit in the January of year 12. And unit five, which is meeting individual care and support needs, which is an internally assessed unit. In addition to these units, the extended diploma will also cover the following units in year 12. Unit three, which is anatomy and physiology in health and social care. And this is also an externally assessed unit which will be assessed in the January of year 12. Students will also undertake unit six, which is work experience in health and social care. Within this unit, you will undertake a 100 hour placement, which students are expected to organise independently within the industry. In addition to this, you will also look at some internally assessed units. These are unit seven, principles of safe practice, unit eight, promoting public health, and unit 10, sociological perspectives. In Year 13, both courses will then cover the following units. Unit 2, Working in Health and Social Care, and this is an externally assessed unit, which will be assessed in the January of Year 13. You will also look at Unit 14, which is Physiological Disorders and Their Care, which is an internally assessed unit. In addition to this, the Extended Diploma will then look at the following units. Unit 4, which is Inquiries into Current Research in Health and Social Care, and again, this is externally assessed in the January of Year 13. You will also look at Unit 12, which is Supporting Individuals with Additional Needs, Unit 17, which is Supporting Individuals with Dementia, and Unit 19, which is Nutritional Health. Again, these will all be internally assessed throughout the span of Year 13. So across the curriculum, students will participate in multiple activities to suit the different learning needs of our students and to also enhance learning. So why should you study health and social care? Well, health and social care is a really interesting subject which can be used and applied in everyday life. It also helps to build an extensive range of knowledge um, and also transferable skill sets which can be used in a multitude of careers. There are also various extracurricular opportunities associated with studying health and social care. This includes extensive revision sessions prior to external assessments, as well as support with internal assessments. We also have the opportunity to mentor Key Stage 4 students, as well as an extended reading list, documentaries and films list, and we also have a subject prefect for both courses. In previous years, we have had some outstanding academic achievements. Now, the course has only been delivered since 2016, so that means we have had two cohorts complete the courses available all of which have passed their respective courses. In 2020, we had some standout results. For the extended certificate, 100% of our students achieved either a distinction or a distinction star. For the extended diploma, 100% of our students achieved a triple merit or above, with 80% of our students achieving between a triple distinction and a triple distinction star. So as you can see, we have continued to build on our successes within the health and social care department. So from the health and social care department, we have had students progress into various careers. For example, nursing and midwifery, education, both primary and secondary, pharmacology and psychology. We've also had students progress into various different roles within apprenticeships. So there are a whole host of reasons why I love health and social care, but the main reason is that every element we study can be applied to everyday life. And as you study it, you can really start to see how the different areas of health and social care impact our day to day lives. So not only do I love health and social care, but I also love FBA sixth form, not only because I work here, but also because of the fantastic opportunities it provides our students with. In addition to that, it also really is a really supportive and happy place to be and to study. Our students really do have every opportunity to flourish here and I feel very privileged to be a part of this. 
So hopefully this video has given you an overview and all of the information you need to know about health and social care. If you do have any further questions or if you would like to know any more information, please do contact the school. Thank you.